Hey guys, Pig here from Netball. Today I have the Asus EPC 1201T and this is my review of it. So it's a 12.1 inch notebook with an AMD processor and ATI graphics. Now if you've seen the UL20A or the EPC 1201N, you'll be pretty familiar with the looks of this machine since it has pretty much the same chassis. I'll just give you a tour of the machine. So starting on this side, we've got VGA out, only VGA out, there's no HDMI like on the UL20A, power, and air vent, one USB here. On the front, you've got speakers running across the front there. No Altec Lansing speakers like on the UL20A, but you do have SRS sound. LED status lights on the right hand edge there. On the other side, you've got the Kensington lock, the LAN, which is uh, 100 megabit, one USB microphone and headphone jacks, and the extra uh, USB there, so that's three USBs. And you've got a kite rig here, which is uh, flush with the edge there. On the bottom, you've got one uh, single access panel for RAM only. Here's a look at the battery. Uh, let's see. Okay, the battery sticks out just a tiny bit, but overall it's very uh, thin. It's actually less than one inch thick all along, but the uh, battery jutting, jutting out below here does increase it to over one inch at the back here. This is a uh, this is the silver model. It has a brushed texture behind this glossy plastic coating here. It's pretty decent at hiding fingerprints, at least better than the black model. Let's take a look on the inside. Okay, so glossy display and glossy screen bezel. There's the webcam there. The uh, microphone. It's only a single microphone. Keyboard. Uh, very wide keyboard. Very uh, good keyboard. There's a trackpad button here for uh, switching the trackpad on and off, power button there, and the palm rest is glossy, same as on the lead, same texture, flush trackpad, single rocker bar button, and the AMD Fusion sticker here, so that's pretty much it. Inside looks a, a ton of bit uh, different compared to the UL28, but that's just a brief look. So uh, let's go into the pros now. Alright, first uh, the ergonomics. You've got a very large keyboard here, very wide, and uh, it's a chiclet style keyboard. There's only a tiny little bit of flex, and for the most part, it's not uh, noticeable under no normal typing situations. However, up at the top here, it's a little bit more uh, noticeable. Some of the keys do sound a bit funny, so it's probably not the best uh, quality keyboard, but uh, Still uh, very good and easy to type on. Uh, the trackpad here, the EBC trackpads have always been pretty good. Here, it's the same. Very good responsive uh, two-fingered scrolling. And the, the button here, it's a little stiff. Uh, a little stiffer than I'd like. But it is uh, pretty quiet. Next, the display. It's very bright. Uh, it might be glossy, but it's clear. There's no sign of kind of any anti-glare grit, which you occasionally find on some glossy displays. It doesn't need to be there. So, good display and also high resolution, 1366 by 768 pixels. Another pro is HD content. You can play uh, HD content up to 1080p, 720p, H.264 video, WMV9 or MPEG-2. Um, that's for uh, maybe movie trailers that you've downloaded or some other movies, but for YouTube videos uh, you cannot play 720p or 1080p video. Even with Flash 10.1 you still cannot get it to work at least on this particular model. Uh, the next pro is graphics performance. Um, you've got a uh, AK Radeon HD3200 graphics chipset in here. And combined with the uh, AMD Athlon 
Neo MV40 processor running at 1.6 gigahertz. You've got um, very decent performance, better than any netbook. And when it comes to games, the graphics performance will help uh, get better performance than even some of the uh, low-end CUV notebooks, such as the Asus 54010 with the SU2300 processor. So when it comes to games, better performance with this over over the uh, UL28, for example which comes with that dual-core SU2300 processor and GMA uh, 4500 MHD graphics so uh, good graphics performance on this notebook Phoenix Pro is price um, it's cheaper than both the UL20A and the EPC 1201T uh, mind you in the US it does not come with a operating system so the price is even cheaper and that's good value if you plan to use Linux and Linux runs very well on this notebook. Alright, time to take a look at the cons. So first, there's no HDMI out, there's only VGA. Uh, granted, the UL28 does uh, not have an HDMI out as well. Next, battery life, you're looking at around 3 to 4 hours. Uh, 4 hours at best, uh, that's with light web browsing, no uh, flash videos and brightness at the lowest uh, uh, notches. If you start watching videos and uh, generally not uh, uh, being conservative with battery life, you, uh, you expect around three hours. So battery life is uh, below average. But it might be enough for some people. Some people don't really care about that. Uh, next, uh, the noise. Um, it's not as quiet as the UL20A for example. Um, the fan is always on, you can always hear it. Uh, right now it's pretty quiet but then again it's doing nothing at the moment. Um, and Actually I cannot hear the fan right now but uh, once you start uh, web browsing and looking at videos the fan does ramp up. Especially after it's been on for a while. It's only been on for about uh, half an hour uh, so far. So. Noise wise it could be better, but still it's tolerable, for me at least. Um, but it certainly is not quiet. And next the power brick is a bit larger than uh, normal. So this is the 1201T power, uh, power brick. And this is a standard netbook power brick. So if we compare them, you can see that the 1201T brick is a little larger. And uh, last of all, YouTube videos. Um, you cannot play back HD YouTube content. Um, even uh, even though Flash 10.1 supports this particular uh, Radeon uh, graphics chipset, the drivers, the graphic drivers for the uh, Radeon Radeon chipset. Do not provide uh, uh, the capability to play back uh, HD flash. For some reason, I do not know, but you just cannot do it. Maybe I can show you here. So that's a quick look at the pros and the cons of this 1201T. Um, if you're looking for a good value, cheap 12-inch notebook, this is definitely worth considering. It's cheaper than the 1201N and the UL20A, which is which shares the same chassis. Um, you might not get as good battery life as those two notebooks, but uh, it certainly does have very good graphics performance, and it's more powerful than a netbook. Um, graphics performance should even be better than the uh, uh, UL20A, but probably not as good as the uh, EPC 1201N. Uh, please check out my written review uh, for uh, full details on the pros and the cons and to check out pricing and just uh, if you want to comment, leave a comment. If you've got any questions you can uh, uh, ask on my website at uh, netbooked.net. So uh, Peter here from Netbooked, thanks for watching.